so let me just uh we're just gonna do small small little clips of stuff so um the indoor like we said the st walker slash mech with ewoks um all i'm doing is i'm adding a green paint because you know it's a, the floors there and the stones too no problems it's all gonna be there but i added the mod podge and the green paint together and then smothered it everywhere even at the bottom under, under here I, I made it just so it you know it go now we have to let this dry when it dries we're going to probably add another coat to it because what we're going to do after is we're going to add some ground to it so you know we have to add our dollar store ground and um that way it still has Mod Podge on it. This is just going to soak into the styrofoam. It's going to harden it, which is what we want. And then we're going to add more, another layer to it, which will probably just, you know, you got the odd little dents and cracks here, which it has to soak into and just whatever. It's no big deal. But then we could just add um, our uh, ground to it and it will stick to it better. So let's uh, go with that. Okay, so on. we're going to start working on the coloring of the diorama I'll bring it down and look at this here so um we painted it green now that's just to give it you know a little bit of texture kind of looking it's going to have grass on everything but we also want to give it a little bit of a darker look so what we're going to do is we're just going to add some gray start off by putting some mod podge dollar store has these pretty darn cheap buck 25 can't go wrong right so all i'm going to do is add some gray Put that in there. Give it a little stir to start off. You don't have to be crazy. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of black, not much. If you put too much, it'll darken the whole thing up. Not good. Make sure you put your caps back on. Okay. Then you're gonna mix that up a bit until you get the color you want. Which I'm looking for is just more of a grayish, a dirty gray look for this project because like i said we're gonna put some grass and stuff like that on here also um we want to put some logs in that so this is just to cover the green ish a bit and to get that going there so give it a good mix and then what we do is add a little bit of water i use distilled water and that just makes the flow a lot easier for when we're we're painting. Make sure it's really good and mixed though. Okay. Because you're gonna want a lot of paint to do it. Or enough in there, I guess. Alright, we'll let this bring down. We don't need on that. Make sure you have your little trusty rags with you. And you want this to be liquidy enough okay so that it flows on there it doesn't have to be you got enough glue in here to make it to make everything stick now the the mod podge of course like we said the mod podge will harden this even better when we're working on it okay so then from here all we're going to do is give it a little coat and what we want to do is add this on here so that it's it sticks, it goes into all the holes that are missed. And it also is gonna mix in with some of the, with the greens so that we can see the difference when we add our, our grass to it. We can add our grass color to it at the same time as we're doing this because it has the glue in it. So the glue will allow it to basically have a better, uh, it'll stick to it. That's what we're looking at doing. All right, so let's just keep on doing this. I'll uh, finish this up and I'll show you. All right, something's screwed up in my phone here, but we're gonna start off again, like I said, uh, adding a darker black to our mixture. And uh, we're just adding this sporadically all over the place just because, um, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna be adding other stuff to it, so it's just to darken it up. Plus, we're gonna highlight having, um, okay, I'm crooked here, uh, the rocks 
and that will add white to it and all that just to just to get it going give it some color 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 color, color. so uh, as you see i'm just randomly adding a darker kind of grayish black to the whole project getting him into some of the cracks and crevices so I can see more stuff. And then when this dries, uh, I don't know if that caught on to the first part of it, but um, if you're impatient like I am and you want to get stuff going, uh, get stuff the hair dryer because this is acrylic paints and glue, it will dry really fast. So hit it a couple minutes. Oh, let me drop it on this here. Holy cow. Um, you know, hit it for a couple minutes. It'll, it'll dry. It'll be fine. And I'm using these dollar store brushes because they are so much easier to spread on the paint. Than using this. Holy complication times. Let's see if this works. Again. Okay, we said we are covering our diorama in a black. Um kind of a look and this is what we're going to do is we're just adding uh, more color to it so pretty much just getting rid of all the paint that we have in our bucket <laughs> so just try to you know, darken up the diorama a bit it doesn't have to be perfect because like I said the color is just to get rid of the styrofoam look if that's how I explain it the most or the best because we will be adding a lot of different stuff to it to make it look outdoorsy. Outdoorsy, is that the word? Okay. <clears throat> All right, so we've been having a little bit of problems with our camera. I don't know what the hell's going on, but we're going to start up by saying that we just finished painting the outside of it with a darker uh, black, grayish kind of. Next we're gonna do is we're gonna take some white. And what we did was we just added white to um, a little bit of water. And then, sort of like a dry brush, I guess. Take as much as you can off. So we don't, you know, it's kind of hard to do it at times, but it'll dry better. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna basically touch most of the, of the rock up. So that's gonna be the most visible part of our diorama that you're gonna see more than the base. The base you're not gonna see as much, okay? The base is gonna be covered with foliage and stuff like that, where this won't. So, like I said, I get I get one of these little dollar store uh, women's, uh, I guess, base brush, whatever you wanna call it. And all we're gonna do is just touch up just a little bit here and there. I don't know what we feel is the best. And you can see, let me bring it down a bit more. You can see that the colors changed quite a bit, quite drastically on what we want it to look like. It'll look really cool when it's got all the all the other rest of the colors to it, like with the, the greenage from the um, you know the dollar store we use. We use a lot of the, the dollar store items because it's cheap and affordable but the grass isn't all bad so when we add that on we're gonna let this dry well uh probably for you know you don't need to leave for the day but at least you know a good couple hours would be nice we don't want to overdo it we don't want to leave have this thing too wet and stuff like that makes sense um you know but you know, if we want to keep on working on it, we got to keep on just adding stuff, like just taking the hair dryer, our secret weapon, the hair dryer to it, and that'll help the drying process a lot better. And like I said, just taking a little bit of the, the, the white, with, and we add our distilled water. Now, I use distilled water, I think I've said this before, it's just that I got access to it, or I had access to it, where... It was bottles that were being thrown away and uh, I was allowed to have them. 
Um, but since, you know, I no longer, not that I no longer work, I'm no longer probably going back to work, um, some of this stuff, we'll have to find a different way of getting our hands on stuff, on items when we need it. So, we'll see. And, yeah, so we're just going to add a little bit here and there like we just did. Sides too, we want to put some on the sides. Alright, so we are done right now with part one of this video where we put um, the white over everything. So the next is we'll be working on our ST, ATST walker, our mech with, you can just see them in the background, they're little brown guys. Are, uh, we're going to call this part one done and uh, we'll let this dry and we'll go on to the next one, okay? Alright, stay tuned.